Hello, my friends. It is Laura Martin here. Say hello if you are a new, if this is the first time that I'm ever dancing across your feed right now, make sure that you do say hello so that we can become good friends. If you are someone that pops in here often, I would hope you would say hello because we're best friends right now. And then if you're watching the replay, make sure you let me know so I can check in with you. But today I wanted to share with you all how to keep your gut on track this season. Hello, Shimar. I um, hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, as we dance into spring, I know there is just so much out there for detoxes and cleanses and getting what have you, shedding that quarantine weight, all that kind of stuff that's out there right now. And I just wanted to come on here really quickly and give you those these three ways so that you can release that stepping into spring and so you don't have to feel overwhelmed or any of that kind of stuff. Hi, Noonie. And release any of the overwhelm or insecurities that come with, you know, things are opening up. It can be a little scary, like especially when you have IBS. It's easy when you have your own kitchen here and you can really take control of it yourself, but when you have other arenas like barbecues or birthdays or holidays, dancing through it can be a little overwhelming. So I wanted to jump in because I know for so long this is something I struggled with. So I want to give you guys my reflection process of how I start out my new months and especially my new seasons like we're dancing into quarter two and so the reflection process I really want to invite you guys to be checking in with is one are you seeing results for what you want do you have that written down are you starting to see results from we're getting through the year what you set out in January are you seeing results if not ask yourself is there an issue with the way that you are executing it Okay, is this low FODMAP diet, is this restriction, is this elimination or certain type of eating, is it actually working for you and it, is it maybe the diet, okay? I always want to say hi to people when they come on here, but like their names, I'm not quite sure because they're like little names. So hi, Travel Girl, hi, Ziki. Um, but yes, so are you seeing the results you want? Is there a challenge in the execution and their next question is are there holes in the strategy and this is where i invite you to really check in with the nutrition approach that you're taking when it comes to healing your ibs especially as we dance into these warmer climates is this something you can stick with is it are you able to go out to eat with ease are you able to um have barbecues and all that kind of stuff are you able to really enjoy the fact that we are out of quarantine are you able to really enjoy yourself if the answer is no to that and you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or any i mean beyond just the average stuff like if you're feeling a little bit anxious because of that hey ben um really check in with are there holes in your strategy and execution of this and so you have to really work from that top um, down approach. And then the last one is do your daily habits, daily tasks align with the end goal. And so this was a big one for myself is I wanted to heal my IBS. I wanted to do all these kind of things. But what I found myself doing was being stuck in an elimination low FODMAP diet. And so yes, I was following those things, but come weekends or come like the summer months, I was straight chilling like i was not executing this effectively i was kind of mindlessly going about it i had been so strict over those winter months when i was cooking at home and really kind of keeping to myself um but when it came to weekends or going out it was just not effective at all and so those are the four questions i ask myself as i dance into a new month so repeating if you guys are just tuning in is are you seeing the results that you want is there an issue with the execution and are there holes in the strategy and do your daily tasks align with the goals that you want hi chut bex <laughs> um, um and so those are the four questions and then the next thing diving into is how you can set yourself up for success every single week is look at it from a week in at a glance 
okay so what i see with a lot of the clients that come into the gut recharge program is they're so gung ho like they have tried everything they're so ready da, 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 da. like they're ready to jump in that by the time like they're like they have a few good days and then one bad day like one bad day it flares up they maybe didn't go to the bathroom they didn't have their unicorn poops that morning so it, it's a little bit harder and so they think everything is all wrong like have you ever felt that way is that something you've done where it's just like you wake up one day and you're like oh, shit like i am going back to square one all this kind of stuff and so my best tool has been look at things at a week at advance okay like perfect example my family was visiting all this weekend and i just moved in like it's been hectic i were hiring on new staff like it's been mental here and nutrition hasn't been that great hi jam but when i look at it it's like okay so three days out of seven yeah i'm four out of i'm four out of the seven so i'm on the higher spectrum of that and that's when you can really reflect and be like okay i'm looking at this a week at a glance not a day to day because if i was looking at day to day this hair would be gray by now and so make sure you are celebrating the weeks and then looking at it from a month in advance and then a year or a quarter what have you and if you're looking at your health plan you're looking okay like maybe it's not up to par it's not exactly where i want it to be and I need some course correcting and these questions that we just covered earlier aren't answered in the right way This is where you want to course correct and really link arms with someone that is on that path that can get you that freedom for spring because my dear Barbecues are meant to be enjoyed like we spend so much time just locked inside It doesn't need to be overwhelming It doesn't need to be a time of anxiety or any of that kind of stuff and even in those states you're going I just got off an interview actually for she talks health podcast of if you are in this hyper state of stress, if you are in this, I need to get it perfect, I uh, can't have any of my high FODMAP foods, like avocados, oh, curse them, like your body is not going to rest and digest. And so when it comes to IBS, more often than not, that's the root. Like that is the root cause as to what is causing this inflammation in the body. And so when your body is inflamed because you're worried about not getting it perfect or you're worried if they won't have anything to eat or you, worse, you have that food hangover because you did actually enjoy the food at a barbecue because you just wanted to feel normal for a second. And then you have that food hangover where you can't stop thinking about it. Like when is the flare up gonna happen? It's most likely because you're having those thoughts that this inflammation is happening because of this whole beautiful gut brain connection vagus nerve system going on um which if you guys want more information on that you can head over to our facebook group because this you know with healing the happy it's more of like science and soul today's more of like the soul vibes of how to set yourself up for success and so we covered the review process we covered how you can set yourself up each week as opposed to a day at a glance and then the three techniques the secret sauce to actually having a spring fresh spring my friends is number one know what you do and do not like okay and that comes from having this list right like you don't have to stick to it all the time you do what have you but when you go out to eat when you're going to a barbecue when you're going to a restaurant when you go have your foods that you know will not cause you a flare-up that will not cause you this anxiety or this discomfort or any of that kind of stuff and you can just eat it in peace without being that person like i can't tell you how many times it was so frustrating where people oh like you can't eat that like what can you eat and like getting all up in your face about it like there's nothing that is more frustrating than that so have the list of foods that agree with you and the ones um, that are your quote unquote safe foods. I really don't like using that terminology, but have those at hand. And then when you want to evolve that and explore that, that's exactly what we're doing in Gut Recharge, right? Like this is the process of what foods can you add in that your body will heal. But while you're healing, okay, because you are healing, like there is an end game to get you back on your way to enjoying burgers and fries and what have you without a fear. But when you're on your way to healing, just keep those safe foods at hand, okay? And then the second one is taking responsibility for your health, okay? Like, no one's surprised when they go to an Indian restaurant and they eat a whole bunch of curry that they're bloated and their gut is doing funny things, right? Like, that just happens. And so a big thing 
I'm dating a New Yorker. Like, he loves his pizza and his chicken wings and like going out for beer and things like that. And old me would have been like, mm mm, I'm not actually old me to do that. I was single for a very long time because I couldn't wrap my head around the fact eating around people that weren't eating in the same way I was. But now, if Elvis chooses a restaurant, I wear looser pants. I take my digestive enzymes with me. I come home when I have ginger tea. Or if it's really bad, which it hasn't been in ages, but if it was really bad, it would be like a warm water bottle on my belly to calm the nervous system, call the spasms in my belly to calm so we can tap into that rest and digest. But we have to stop acting like we're surprised when we eat something we haven't had in a while and our body reacts, okay? Because this is why when we have the, di when we, aren't consuming foods for a long time, it's, bas it's like a muscle. Your digestive enzymes are like a muscle. So if you haven't used that muscle in a while, just like if you went to the gym and you haven't picked up a weight in a while, it's gonna be heavy. It's gonna hurt, probably. You might not be able to do it right away. But the more you use it, the more those enzymes get working, the better your body can digest it. You see this all the time with my girlies, with being able to digest cheeses and legumes and meats and all the kind of things that they know, love, pre like all that kind of stuff. Hi, Pike. Um, all that kind of stuff, they're able to consume these foods again when you also focus on repairing the digestive enzymes at the same time. Okay, so that's one. We have one, which is knowing what, keep a list of the foods you know you like that you often see and if you don't have a list we do have a build your plate guide um and two taking responsibility dressing appropriately taking the supplements that you need coming home doing the nurturing practices so that you can tap into that rest and digest and then three remove your food guilt i know that one's hard this one i'm not gonna lie i still occasionally struggle with but when it comes to this whole gut brain connection you can either stress or you can digest because what's happening okay on like a biological or physiological level is that the blood flow that is meant to be going to your digestive tract to turn that beautiful food into fuel for your body is now going to your muscles and your heart and your lungs your organs that need to keep you alive it's going there okay this is why if you're stressing you can't digest because your blood flow isn't there to it's a lot of work like you're turning food into fuel that's a lot of freaking work okay and so this is where the practices that i teach inside of gut recharge like we're always talking about you know the gut brain connection how do we turn down the nervous system how do we really get this body into a safe arena and that comes from giving yourself permission for being human you're gonna go to a barbecue you're gonna have some ice cream and it's gonna be totally okay Okay, like I said, there are certain things that you can add into your nutrition plan. You can wear looser cl clothes. You can take some digestive enzymes. You can get some digestive bitters. But more, the most important thing you can do is get rid of that food hangover. The most important thing you can do is understand that if this is working too much, this is definitely not working, okay? It's going to cause so much damage and we're so quick to go the diet route and the elimination and the restriction and sticking to this that we forget that it's our responsibility to do the inner work, to learn that the food is not the devil. It, it actually tastes good and it's more than just fuel too. It's community, it's relationships, it's things like that. And that's stuff you miss when you're so caught up here about your food, okay? And so when you can nurture this gut brain connection, you can get back to digesting your food. So. I hope that was helpful for you. Wonderful, wonderful people. Spring has sprung. Things are open. It is like, I don't know, it's like fresh energy. It just feels so good to be alive right now. And there is no need to feel overwhelmed or anxious or confused when it comes to food and all the things that are out there happening right now. There is space for you to breathe because your body's sole purpose is to keep you alive that's it and when it gets the right tools when you can apply those wherever you are you set yourself free and you welcome yourself home you just have to pause for a minute and understand like 
what it is that you need to do to fuel your body. And so that comes from having the list while you're repairing the rest of your digestive system, right? Like having that list while also doing the other work, making sure you're taking responsibility. So maybe you have to take some digestive enzyme. This doesn't mean you're going ham on pizza every day, right? Like I don't go with Elvis to pizza every day, but it's a once a week thing. Um, but you have those kind of stuff, you wear the looser clothing, you give yourself radical permission for being human and enjoying after the crazy year we've had, you give yourself permission to be in that. And then three, really nurture that gut brain connection because you cannot heal the gut if you're missing that whole point, okay? I want you to be free. I want you to have the wealth and feel recharged this season. And if you have any questions at all, I do have two spots open in my gut accelerator program. This is my eight week container. And so if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you do just either pop the link in my bio, shoot me a message, what have you. I love you humans so, so much. And I will see you next Tuesday inside of our Facebook group. Happy healings, my friends.